white mirror face, or how much of my day I spend practicing my butch voice, my baby opens your carburetor with my toolkit voice, when you know full well there is nothing in my toolkit besides a massive collection of self-help books that have helped me do nothing but feng shui the skeletons in my closet. Don't you just love how that femur accents the sofa set squash? It's so hard to read this when she's so cute, I have to tell you. Wait, what is the next line in the sofa sets watch? I'm sorry I cry every time I take you to the vent. I'm sorry they take your temperature like that. I'm sorry I take you there when you've only got a bug bite. Humans hold so tight to the leash of life, but you will roll in anything dead and wear it like perfume. I wish I had your nose for eternity. I wish I could see what you see, where the squirrels save your eyes, where the postman deserves to die, even when he's not bringing bills. What's with hating the shadow the peace only makes on the floor of the living room? I know I let you down every day. I choose to not murder the vacuum. Is it bad that I refuse to teach you to not be afraid of men? Is it bad that I want you to keep your bite and your snarl and your gleaming teeth? Is it bad that when they call you a risk, I call you a feminist? You never make fun of your friend Chloe's underbite, or your friend Willow's limp, or your friend Harvey's past trouble with the law. You never criticize me for being too uptight to let my hair down, even though you can let yours all the way out, all over my black hoodie, my black pants, the couch, the car, the chair. The online merch store that sells my books and t-shirts wrote me a letter saying, we cannot continue to sell your products if they continue to be covered in so much of your dog's hair. <laughs> I just assumed anything covered in you would increase in value. Remember when I told that woman I loved her then whispered in your ear, you're my number one girl. <laughs> it's true, if I could, I would put your beating heart in my mouth and suck it in like a piece of candy so I could finally understand how you got so sweet. I know my therapist likes you more than she lets me and I still let you sleep on her couch. You taught me a good nap is the best therapy. You taught me to sit when I damn well want to sit. I don't care that you never talk about patriarchy or capitalism or the heteronormative hegemonic paradigm. I know you're saying in the world every time you get poo stuck in your butt hair and you don't go looking for someone to blame. <laughs> Speaking of looking for someone, I can't imagine what you think of sex. I can't tell if you think it's a slobbering, badly boundary belly rub or a poorly aimed fist fight. You just perch on the end of the bed, tilting your head back and forth, wondering why I still haven't taken my pants off. I have issues, squash. Humans have issues. We dig holes to bury our own hearts. We chew in our own bones. We escape the predator but still can't shake a 